And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy, Fly Island Guy. Today we are back here uh, in the BN2 uh, in beautiful Antigua. We're at uh, VC Bird International. Uh, this airport is surprisingly busy in this area. And I'm not 100% sure why, but they got a lot of traffic and stuff going on. So. We're pretty much here, ready to go. I'm going to be heading over to St. Kitts. Uh, and, well, specifically Basseter, St. Kitts. And, yeah, this should be a fairly short flight. Um, Antigua and St. Kitts are pretty close to each other. And we're in the correct livery for this type of flight. Uh, Montserrat is in the area as well, so... It's only fitting that we use the Fly Montserrat livery. Let's go ahead and hop into the cockpit. Uh, we are pretty much all loaded up and ready to go. Flight plan is in. Our approach is in. There is no instrument departure today. So we're just basically just going to take off from the runway and turn on to our or turn to towards our flight plan and and go for it so gonna go get uh the fuel pumps on and we can go ahead and get the engine started as usual start with the right engine slash starboard engine and boom Next we'll move over to the left engine. Okay, so today we are departing from, and I never have it up, runway 7 here in uh, Antigua. And we'll also be landing in runway 7 in St. Kitts. So I'll give you a quick idea of the our flight plan uh, kind of once we get in the air. But for now, uh, let's get to the runway and let's get airborne as soon as possible. Alright, so as usual, I never have the, <laughs> never have the map up, so you can see where I'm going. Cool. Alright, so we have a super long taxi, so we're going to try and get there as quickly as possible. Let's act like that didn't happen. For some reason there's a ton of traffic. Here at the airport, so I'm like ducking in and out of uh, <laughs> in and out of vehicles to get where I'm going. bring up the map to show where I am. Yeah, so I'm basically at this little 
area here, jut off from the side of the airport. So we gotta go all the way to runway 7 to take off. What I'm gonna do is go to uh, probably Taxiway B. And, well, Taxiway Bravo, take off from there. Doesn't make sense going all the way to the end of the runway. Because airport, this airplane doesn't need it. Looks like we're gonna have a pretty stiff crosswind when we take off. So this is the main terminal building here. This is default scenery. At some point I'd like to have all of the scenery here for um, for the Caribbean or at least some kind of third party scenery even if it's free alright so we're going to be taking off from here uh, this is about halfway down the runway. What's up with these turns? <laughs> Alright. So it looks like somebody is right at the other end of the runway. <laughs> what in the world? Playing chicken today, folks. Rotate. Alright, so there's a good amount of multiplayer activity in the area, so it's interesting. <laughs> turn back to get towards the uh, uh, flight path. And I think that's the guy that, well, one of the guys that just passed. It's good to see a bunch of uh, bunch of flight simmers out and about. It's 
So Antigua's looking pretty awesome from above here. I'm just hand flying for now. As you can see, our flight time isn't very long. Um, Simbrief has it at about 40, about 40, 45 minutes or so. I think. I think we're actually heading out here. Or maybe out there. I don't know. One of those places. As usual, shout out to all the multiplayer people in the area. Uh, looks like Nightcrop is, is running the king here. <laughs> shout out to my old favorite aircraft. Alright, so I'm going to adjust the I'm going to adjust the uh, mixture here for climb. And got our autopilot on. Who else is out in the sky right now? The stock himself. Actually, it, they look like the park somewhere. It's 100 feet below sea level. It's a little weird. Kanta is flying. Looks like it's flying the Cessna around the Caribbean. That's awesome. All right, folks, so when we come back, we are going to start our approach into St. Kitts. I have reinstalled the uh, third-party scenery there in St. Kitts, so be prepared for some beautiful views once we, once we get down. So I'll catch you guys when we get back, well, and we'll be coming back shortly for sure, and I'll talk to you then, all right? Take care. everyone we've started our descent into St. Lucia, St. Lucia, St. Kitts. Uh, we're just kind of on, on route for final approach. Uh, so we can go ahead and just take a look at our approach right now. Currently we are on our way down to 3200 feet. 
here at Icnic and yeah, we're basically going to be heading to Lando and making the right turn onto uh, Final we're runway 07 we're doing the RNAV 07 approach so I'm not too fancy here uh, we just got to get down to 2000 feet and let the glide path do the rest well, most likely because it's another amazing day here in the Caribbean. I swear I did not plan for the, <laughs> the flights to be uh, rain-free. Uh, it's actually kind of funny because we've been doing a lot of traveling in the Caribbean during, during the rainy season. And we're yet to experience any bad weather here. Uh, we haven't seen anything short of maybe a couple thunderstorms, but wasn't even a lot of clouds. I don't know where this flying Ryan guys kind of doesn't really tell you where they are. It's a possibility that a lot of these people here are heading to St. Martin. St. Martin is very close. <clears throat> very close to St. Kitts. In fact, it's about, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, 15, 20 minutes flight. Uh, but, yeah. I actually forgot that this guy was <laughs> here in the back with me. Um, <laughs> I have to like, I was just looking around at one point and he scared the crap out of me because he was there. I was kind of like already further back in the plane, so I spun around and he was, he was like right there, smack down my vision. It was not fun. Alright, so if, you, if you've ever been here before, then you know that the airport is kind of right here. Off to our right, the scenery hasn't really... Um, hasn't really kind of fully loaded yet but it will shortly that's where the airport is and so we should be getting some good news sometime soon it's sort of weird so this flying Ryan guy was initially climbed to like 600 feet now he's at negative 100 Alright, so we should be starting to turn uh, any second now. We are one out of a mile away from Picnic. So I'm hoping that the Next Gen Simulations Bandarante is available sometime soon. And I just realized I didn't have WhatsApp muted. So <laughs> you guys probably heard WhatsApp notifications on my computer. So it might be my bad. Or you might hear them on the stream. But yeah, sorry. I was waiting for. Uh, next-gen simulations to finish or well, get the service service pack update out I'm pretty sure it should be coming out sometime soon they did say Q4 and we're now heading into uh, well, we're heading into Q4 now so hope that comes out soon just so that I could switch to something a little more powerful and <laughs> a little more interesting than the uh, BN2. As you've seen earlier, I've also started flying the, uh, the TBM. I'm going to probably be doing more flights in there as well and just trying to get used to that. I 
flew my first ever TBM flight not too long ago. Uh, so can't believe it took me so long to actually get into the, the aircraft. And there must be a lot of people at uh, St. Martin right now. And that's one thing that I noticed. Uh, so I've mentioned this a lot of times before. As far as the Caribbean is concerned, a lot of people tend to fly to the same places in the Caribbean. So we all know St. Martin is a very, very popular destination. So yeah, if you look out in the distance here, this is where St. Martin is. And that's why there's so many people flying in that one spot. I try to kind of make it a habit to avoid flying there. Um, I've probably flown to St. Martin maybe once. Maybe once or twice on the channel, but uh, I try to avoid it. It's one of those areas that's kind of like laid out. So many people fly there. I always say that there's a whole lot more Caribbean out there to explore, so. So I'll check it out. Looks like this person Dominican knees. They might be flying with the uh, Junker aircraft that was recently released for uh, flight simulator. I've seen a couple videos on it. it. Looks pretty cool, but. It's not really my thing. I'm not. I don't really do the old aircraft like that. All right. You should actually be de be descending down to 2,000 feet now. Did not realize that. Gonna do a quick descent. Airport is straight ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and activate approach mode as well. Let's see if we get there in time. We are 1.2 nautical miles outside of the Dusel Waypoint. Kind of overshot it. Okay, no, we will not do that. Alright, so the autopilot was doing something weird. I didn't notice that before. <coughs> kind of had us looping around uh, on approach. So I was going to head back out to another waypoint and the approach again, which I refuse to do. So I'm just going to hand fly it. I mean, there's virtually no clouds in the sky right now. There's no reason not to hand fly it. Beautiful warning here in St. Kitts. Flaps are set to take off right now. Also, when you're flying in the BN2, you just kind of get tired of moving around everywhere slowly. And I think this aircraft has a cruise speed of around maybe 130, 140 knots. So, 
kind of want to get something a little faster. It, it makes a bit of a difference, you know? Alright, so we want to approach. We are high. So let's try and get this guy down. Pretty much all white right now. The uh, Pappy lights. So I'm feeling we might get some freezing at the airport. The airport starts loading in. Because it is pretty complex for a small airport. need all the power we can get. Stored it wrong. Yeah, that's the default. Which is why frame rates are so wonderful. But that's alright. No worries. So that's a little disappointing because the St. Kitts scenery is pretty cool. But we'll take off from here next time. I'll correct it. Should be coming in for a smooth landing. Get more in the center line. Welcome to St. Kitts. Welcome to the very barren St. Kitts. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, default and scenery does not do this airport justice at all. Okay. So let's clean up. Landing lights and strobes can come off. You're wondering why the frame rates were so good <laughs> when you were landing. That's why, like, it was all default scenery.
So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this flight. And my apologies for not loading up the scenery Engine properly. Time flight is finished. Totally forgot that it there was by on air. actually two flight uh two files inside there. So the scenery does uh the St. Kitts Airport and the Nevis Airport as well. But yeah, we'll be seeing the St. Saint Kitts Airport when we do the next flight. I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And Sobo, get this camera fixed because that gets annoying. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, as usual, this is your boy Fly Island Guy. Stay safe. Most of all, stay fly. I'm up. Peace.